So I'm just about done with all the Acreation decals and um, I made a little boo-boo here. These blue decals are actually supposed to go on the bottom and I screwed up and I put them on the top. So not going to have any decals on the bottom here. However, I have to get this one off. And I just looked this up on a way to remove decals. And so I thought I'd share scotch tape. Put it over. Sorry, I need to go off camera here for a second so I can get this perfectly lined up and not hit any other decals. There we go. Put that on. Use this to rub it in place. So just burnish it on. There we go. And pull it off. Ta da! Check that out. Almost all of it's gone. So if you screw up, I need to pull off a decal, there you go. Just a little scotch tape and burnishing and comes right off. So um, this mindless decaling work has been going on for quite a while here. I kind of lost track of where I stopped recording video. Uh, but been putting on, I got majority of the decals from the kit on. Uh, fortunately they are a perfect match for the Acreation decals. These decals cover up all the areas where uh, pieces were missing from the Acreation one, so it, it's a good uh, partnership there. Um, the decals around here that come with the kit do not fit at all. Uh, They're way too big for some reason, and also putting them over those little bumps. Um, you have different ways you can do this. You would shave off the bumps and then put the decal on and then put like a pinhead or something on this place. Um, what I actually did, I just rubbed the decal and so I broke it apart on, around the uh, circles. And um, actually I'm just going to leave it like that because I like the white showing through rather than repainting it yellow. Um, it is a bit harder putting decals over decals because they don't want to slide as well. Uh, one area where I'm having difficulty is this blue section here which I was pretty sure I wasn't putting on correctly at the time, but that's the way it fits. Uh, it should go right along here, not up here, but there was no way to make that fit. It was just a, a poor fit from the Acreation decal section. Uh, now there's supposed to be a red stripe that goes along the top along here on both sides. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, I would like to pull this decal up and replace it with paint, however I already gloss coated it so I'm not sure if that's going to work. But uh, all the other decals are in place. Uh, the third thing, uh, mainly because I'm working on the Batmobile and this one at the same time, uh, I originally used Future as a gloss coat for decals. However, I stopped using it, kind of thinking that, well, I used it a couple times before it was fully cured and it started coming up. And I was kind of worried how durable the Future would be if you uh, soak it for a long period of time. But uh, after using it on the Batmobile as a overcoat, uh, it works quite well, and I think I'm going to go back to that. So, almost done with uh, the decals here at least. Put this one on right here. Hold the decal in place, slide off the paper. If it doesn't want to slide, it'll get add a bit more water underneath it. And you can move it around with your paintbrush. Whoops. This is a little big, so we'll carefully use my hobby knife to adjust it. Get it matched up with the other side. A little lower. Carefully dab the water out from underneath, burn it slightly. There we go. Decal. Take a quick break from the decals and talk about the base. I got this nice wooden base here, all finished and everything. This is from Pacific Rim International. Very cheap. 
my local store just got these in so I think this was like six or eight dollars and a lot better than the pine ones that I usually use I was gonna paint it black but I decided to leave it at this wood color instead just just for a change so I need to drill a hole in the middle of this thing kind of hard with an oval shape so I just need to find the rough center for the hole figure out where the middle is by measuring it four inches in place a mark there I'll try to find the center as best I can use that mark find the center the other way mark there and where the lines cross that gives me the point where I need to drill my hole now for the rod just got a brass tube easy peasy um, now to keep it all clean and shiny two ways you can do this you can take some toothpaste and a cloth and polish up the rod or actually I got this stuff that I've been using just sitting here I've been using this on the uh, the Batmobile my other current project and this thing's clogged thanks for ruining my videos scratch X well it's clogged and so I can't show you right now <laughs> um, but uh, yeah you just need to polish this up again toothpaste works uh, very good as well and then once it's polished up um, you can just use some uh, give it a gloss coat and I haven't cut it down yet because I want to be able to hold it and uh, not get marks all over it so I'll hold it by basically a handle and uh, then I just need to cut it down and drill the holes and we're good to go got the red stripe decal on and I took off the blue one and much like the blue one the red one doesn't fit that well either it should go right along the edge here but um, well it would have gone off the front here and um, well I had to make the back one match and so well it's a bit messy um, so I'm I got it coated with future and I'm carefully filling in the gap now with my uh, whatever I'm using here my azure paint no blue I forget what this stuff was called Anyway, this blue uh, model air color Sam I used on the engines here. And I'm painting this over the gloss, which you don't want to do because paint doesn't go well over gloss. However, because it's gloss, if I mess up, I have a few seconds to clean it up before it dries. So just try to fill in all the areas here. And I already have some other areas that uh, need paint touched up already taken care of and I need to turn the camera off because I can't talk while I'm doing this all right everything is coated with future much better uh, gloss than using the um, all clad just for when it comes to decal work I'm definitely going to be going back to future because it uh, it just works so much better with the decals uh, it's got a few areas here I need to trim up just noticed but it does help uh, protect them much, much more. All the painting is done. Last step is simply to glue everything together. I still need to put a flat varnish on everything, but I'm gonna put it all together first. Um, I have the hole drilled here for the mounting rod. For some stupid reason, I always wait to the last minute to do this. I really should do this in the beginning. And um, of course, something has to go wrong. So the shuttle bay popped loose when I was drilling the hole but it's okay because I still got the hole drilled through the shuttle bay so when I put the rod through it'll go when I put the rod through it'll go back in place and I've scraped off all the paint on the areas where I need to put the plastic cement so I just need to put on a heck of a lot of cement probably should add some support here on the top this is a little bit quite a bit of a weight uh, cement should be good as long as I get a good connection all the way around. But uh, yeah, let's glue this together and we're going to flat varnish it then. I was talking about earlier about putting um, 
a dusting of white in with the varnish or something like that. However, I um, decided against that plan mainly because I got so many colors going on here and trying to get just by adding a, a drop of color into a varnish, trying to get it perfectly smooth all the way across with the same uh, level of transparency, really difficult to do. So I'm just going to use straight varnish and uh, back in a second to see the final results here. And here we are after the flat coat varnish. Uh, used airbrush on some of this really nice uh, Vallejo. This is some super matte stuff. So um, definitely took the sheen off, give it a good tone to it. And uh, yeah, it's all done. Uh, my second 100% decal project. Um, these are a bit weird. They don't really feel like modeling. It's more gift wrapping. But overall, we got the bee all finished. It's looking pretty good. Like the base, um, it is a lot bigger than I remember. Remember, this is a 1-1000 scale, and the original Enterprise is also 1-1000 scale, but it's only half the size because the ships got bigger as the series went on. So it's a pretty big ship here, and um, since it's kind of hard to photograph up close because of the size, uh, let's take some photos, and as always, thanks for watching.